Hello everyone, today we'll be making this Spider-Man friendship bracelet. I'm working on this Gwen Stacy version right here, but today we'll be making this bracelet, so this is going to be a pretty long video, and it's also for an alpha bracelet, so it's going to be a little more difficult. I recommend having some experience on your belt, and at least have made a couple alphas, but this one's pretty, it's not too bad. So let's get started. Okay everybody, so for this bracelet you're going to need three colors. I'm choosing to use white, red, and black to make the more classic Spider-Man look, and then you're going to need a color for the base strings. Um, I use white because it kind of doesn't show up. Like, this is an alpha bracelet. We're going to be making an alpha. So there's going to be base strings that run the entire length of the bracelet, which is kind of weird because we never see them, but it's cool. Uh, also, that's way too long. It needs to be trimmed. So yeah, for my base strings, I'm going to use white, and I'm going to cut five strings at a wingspan's length, and then I'm going to fold them in half. But five strings at a wingspan's length for the base strings. Let's go. Okay, everybody, it's been a few minutes and I have cut five white strings like that that are about a wingspan's length. So I want you guys to find both ends of the five white strings and I want you to match them up. Then I want you guys to find the midpoint like that. Okay, great. But before we do that, before we start making that, we're going to do a shaped start. And I want to use my bread for this. But since we need 11 base strings and not 10... We're going to unravel some, and we're going to put it with this side. We're going to just let it go the whole entire length of the base. Oh, and you see the problem. That's a problem. I'm going to fix that really quick. Okay, so now you can see that this red string goes the entire length of my wingspan of base strings. So what we're going to do is now we're going to match up the two ends. So, ah, ah, this is a mess. We're going to match up this end of white strings with this end of white strings, right? Like that. So the white strings are together and this red is with that side so we're good then we're gonna find the midpoint right and then when we find the midpoint we're gonna click a point right about here for our shape start or our loop sorry a loop then we're gonna be using the side with this skein as the loop so let's grab our clipboards and clip this down right there just to recap before we get back to begin sorry I've got one side clipped down, the other side is clipped this way, and this side that's clipped this way is basically just the side with this red string that only ends right here, right? So these are all, these are six strings that are going to be base strings, but on this other side, where we're knotting, we're going to have the strings that we're knotting over the base strings, but then we're going to have the red skein, uh, where's the camera, right there, that we're going to be knotting with. Okay everybody, now we can start our beginning loop. So with this red string, make sure you go watch my video on the basic types of knots. But with this red string, we're going to start with a forward knot. And then a backward knot, right? So forward, backward knot. So forward. And then backward. And that is going to create a beginning loop. So I want you to continue until you've got about a decent amount to make a loop with. Okay everybody, so now we have just finished the loop. So we can take it like this, fold the ends together like that, right? We're making a little loop out of it. Lovely. We can clip the loop down like so, and we can create a little, I think it's a square knot by doing, ah, uh, my strings all messed up, by doing the following. Okay, so find the red strings on both sides. Lovely, there's the red strings. Then with the one on the left, we can take it and make a forwards fold across the whole bundle of white. With this one on the right, we can take it and put it over the string that we have going forwards for and uh, try to hold that as best as I can but then we'll push it underneath everything oh dear okay so one more time forwards for string goes over and then underneath oh dear and through all the red then we tighten <laughs> sorry I'm coming over a little cold but then we'll repeat so we'll make a backwards for over the bundle and then we'll take this red over and then put it underneath the whole thing. So we'll create that second half the square knot. La la, beautiful. Okay, so next we have to make a shape start. So since we have 11 base strings, we're gonna put five, one, two, three, four, five on this side, one in the middle, and then five more on that side. Let's go. So we'll take this red and we'll do a forward knot, forwards four over that entire bundle on the left side. Then we'll do a forward knot on that one singular string in the middle. And then we'll do a forward backward knot over that whole entire bundle on the right side. Next, we will be expanding to make that shape start. So I have a video on this if you want to go check it out. It'll be in the card right there and in the description box. 
I'll just show you one more row before I skip to the end of the shape start though. So to continue the shape start, we take one string from each bundle and put it in the middle. Then we take our leading string and we do a backward forward knot, backward forward knot over those four strings on the side. Then we'll do a backward knot over that next string and backward knot over that middle string and a backward knot over that newly left string. And then we'll do a backward forward knot over that bundle on the edge. So if you want to finish the shape start, make sure to go check out my video on shape starts and shape ends. It'll be in the description box. Okay, so now I have a finished shape start, as should you. And it's time to begin the actual Spider-Man eyes pattern. It looks like the first, I don't know, they did less rows that I'm going to do. I'm going to do 26 to 28 rows. Um, I'm going to show you a bracelet just for comparison what 28 rows looks like. Uh, this is a 28 row difference from the shape start to the actual pattern. And this bracelet is going to be about, let's just measure it. <laughs> it's almost 6 inches long, so you can see that it's almost 6 inches. So I'm going to do 28 rows before I do the Spider-Man eyes. And to do the rows, we'll just continue on by doing basic knots. So we'll do a backward forward. And then we'll do a forward knot. Another forward knot. And then when you reach this other side, you'll do a forward backward. Then to reverse the order, we'll just do a backward forward on that outermost edge. And then we'll do backward knots all the way to here. And then we'll do a backward forward. Basic. Let's continue. Okay, well, once we reach this edge, we'll do a backward forward knot. So half backward, half forward. That's great. We just did two rows, so we have 26 more that I'm going to go do, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, it seems we are ready to start the Spider-Man part of the thingy. So we'll need to take our next color of thread for me that's going to be black and we're going to need to introduce it into the pattern. I just tie mine to this little part of my clipboard and then cut it off later, but there we go. So next, for this next row, we're going to need to do three forward knots. One. Two. And then three. Okay, and next we have to insert this new color into our, onto the next few base strings. So what we're going to do is take this black, put it underneath all those three that we just did. Let's get that out of the way. Put it underneath the three that we just did. And then this red that we just knotted with, this red that we just knotted with, we'll move to the side, right? And then with this fourth white string, we'll take the black and we'll do half of a forward knot. So we'll do half a forward knot up and on. Okay, so we've just created a half of a forward knot. So we'll take that red, we'll swing it back right over that white string because we want to put this red through that next knot. So we'll take the black again, and then we'll do the other half of the forward knot. So then what we've done is we've put that red through it, which will make it a much cleaner transition. But then we can take the red and put it back underneath all those colors, or all those strings, sorry about that. And then with that black, it's our new leading string, so it looks like it's been there for quite a while, and we can just start tying knots with the black now, as normal. So we need to do another forward knot, and then we need to do another one. We need to do forward knots up until this edge string, but not over the edge string. So we need to do seven total forward knots and four more.
Sweet, okay. Now that those are done, we'll take that black string and we'll take this red edge string, this base string, we're just gonna call it a base string. We'll take it and we'll put it under and then put it out. So it's like it's way over there. Don't even have to think about it. Now with this other red string that we were using earlier, we're gonna take it, put it underneath all those strings that we just did not over. Woo! And then till we get to this one. So now it's like right here, we're poking out and we're going to do a forward backward knot on it. So forward and then backward. Sweet, so we've just done our first row with a color switch. It looks pretty good, I'd say so. For this next row, keep in mind, we're gonna have to use the white, but to start, we're going to do two reds, two red knots, so that's going to be a backward, forward, backward, forward, and then we're gonna do a backward knot over the next one. Now, with my red, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it underneath all these extra strings, like that. Then we need to do a black knot. So I'll take my black, put it underneath those two strings, and then poke it right here. With that next base string, the third one in from the right, we'll do a backward knot over it. So backward knot. Then we're gonna need to introduce the white string in. So that's gonna make this a little trickier, but we can do it, it's cool. We'll take the white string. I'm just going to tie mine to my clipboard again, because that's the easiest way for me, I suppose. Okay, just like that. Then we'll take it and we'll put it underneath these three strings on this side, woo! And then pull it tight right next to that black thread. So with that fourth base string in from the right, this one right here, we'll take this white string and we'll do half of a backward knot. Half a backward knot, just like that. Then we'll take this black string and we'll put it through that knot, just so we can keep this nice and clean, make it look pretty. So now it's through. And then it's kind of perpendicular to this base string. We'll take this white and we'll finish off the backward knot. Just like that. Then we can take this black thread and we can put it back out this way. Just to keep it out of our way as we continue this row. So we've just put this black string out and we're ready to continue with the white knots. We're going to do another backward knot. And then three more backward knots. Okay, now that we've done those backward knots, we'll take this white, put it underneath these strings and pull it out to this side so it's out of our way. Now we need the black string again. So what we'll do is we'll take the black, put it underneath all of these strings until like right in front of the string that it needs to tie a knot onto. So all these strings off to the side, the blocks come underneath them all and we're ready to tie our backward knot. Next, we'll tie our backward knot with the black, just like so. Make sure if it gets a little wonky, you can always just push up a little bit and make it look nice. Now we need the red string again. So I'm gonna take my red and I'm going to bring it right here underneath these two white strings. And I'm gonna do my first half of a backward knot. So that's half a backward knot like that. Take the black, thread it through that red string and then we're gonna finish off the backward knot. So it looks pretty good so far. Then I'm gonna take this black gonna just wind it up and I'm gonna put it right back out this way so it's out of our way for the next red knot. Okay, and with this red, we can finish off by doing a backward forward knot. Sweet, that looks pretty, pretty good. I'd say pretty good. Next, for this next row, it's gonna get a little tricky, but we're going to do one backward forward knot. So backward, forward knot. And then I'm going to, just to keep it nice, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna take this black thread, because that's what we need next, put it underneath all these strings until it's right in front of the string, the base string that we need to tie a knot over. I'm gonna grab that base string, I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna take this black, and I'm gonna do half of a forward knot. And then I'm gonna carry the red through, and I'm gonna do the other half of a forward knot, just like that. With this red, I'll put it right back out this side, just like that. Take the white, because that's what we need next, Put it underneath those two strings. And then I'll do half of a forward knot over the next white base string. So half a forward knot. Then I'll take that black again, that's over here. Put it through that white just so we can make sure it stays even and level and straight. Finish off that forward knot. So now we've just kind of connected all of these. Okay, I'll take the black now and put it back out to the left so it's out of our way. And we need to do 
four more fold knots. So one, two, three, and then four. Cool. Then with the white, I'll take it and I'll put it underneath all four of these. So it's off to the side out of our way. Next, we need the black again because we're making a little mask eye thing for Spider-Man because he's amazing, one of the best. Then we'll take that fourth base string in from the right and we'll do a forward knot. So forward, not complete. Then we'll take that red, swing it underneath all of these strings like that. And then we'll take that next base string, take that red again and do first half of the forward knot, just like that. Then we'll take the black, and then we'll thread it through the red. So then it will do the red, the rest of the forward knot, and it will just make it look a lot prettier, a lot nicer. Take the black again, get it out of our way, do another forward knot, and then we'll close with a forward backward knot. Amazing. For this next row, we'll take our red, our leading string, and we'll do a forward backward knot. And then we'll do three more backward knots. After we finish those three backward knots with the red, we'll take the black, put it underneath all these other base strings, get it ready to tie its own backward knot. So we'll take that next thread, that base string, that's the fifth one in from the right, and we'll do the first half of a backward knot, like that. Then we'll take the red, put it through, just so we make it look nice and tidy, and then we'll finish off the backward knot. Take that red once again and put it back underneath those strings. Check that out. Beautiful. Pull it tight so no red is peeking through. So next, we'll take that white string again, because it's next in line. And then we'll put it underneath those first five base strings. Okay, and then we'll do the first half of a backward knot with that red, I mean with that white, sorry. First half, and then we'll take that black string and then we'll put it in the middle so it's between the knot and then we'll finish off the backward knot with the white. Okay, now I'm gonna do something a little different just so we can just see if this is better. I'm gonna keep the black in my hand and I'm gonna pull it back down this way like we usually would. And then I'll take that white and then I'll do the first half of the backward knot on the next string. Then I'll take the black again and I'll thread it through again so it's still between that knot and I'll finish off the backward knot. So once again, we'll take the black, pull it out of the way for the white string. We'll do the first half of a backward knot with the white string like that. Put the black through and then we'll finish off the white knot. Amazing. We'll take that black again one more time, get it out of the way. Do the first half of a backward knot with the white, put the black through, and then we'll finish off the backward knot with the white. Next, we'll take the white string, put it underneath all those base strings back out to the right side. So it's way over there for us. And then we'll take that black string and we'll do one backward knot. Lovely. Then we'll take it and we'll put it underneath that base string and out to the side, because now we need the red. With that red, Take it all the way over here underneath those base strings and we'll do a backward forward knot. Epic. Next, we have one last row of this before we finish off this eye. We'll take that red again. We'll do a backward forward knot. And then we'll leave it. We'll take that black off. We'll take that black from the side. And now we're doing forward knots, so we'll do the first half of a forward knot. So forward four, pull up, pause for a second, take that red, put it between the black knot so we can do a knot over it. Take that black again and finish off the forward knot with the red in between. Then we'll take the red and just put it back out to the left side so it's out of the way for the next knot because we'll be using white again. So I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna move it out to the side so I can grab the white, bring it underneath all these base strings and then we'll tie the first half of a forward knot. Then I'm gonna take the black string and I'm gonna put it right in between, like so we can thread it through, like so. Finish off my forward knot, like that. Then once again, I'll take the black, I'll hold it in my hand and pull it out of the way so the white string can do the next half of a forward knot. So half of a forward knot, 
take the black, put it like that, finish off the forward knot. This technique just keeps it more flat, more nice, more neat, I find. Take the white one more time, pull up with the white, and then take the black and thread it through it one more time. So then, we can take the white, put it off to the side after three forward knots, take that black, str take that black string and do one forward knot, and then we'll pause, grab the red, put it underneath all the base strings, and then we'll start by doing half of a forward knot, so one half. Take that black one more time, put it in between so we can thread it through, finish off that forward knot, take the black, put it underneath these other base strings, and then we'll finish off with another white forward, I mean another red forward knot. Two more forward knots with the red. And then we'll finish off the row by doing a forward backward knot. Wow. Okay, mine's getting a little a little a little sketchy, so I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna push it up just to make it look pretty straight again. Nice, not wonky. Okay, next we'll take our red leading string that we're still using. We'll do a forward backward knot. And then we'll tie five more backward knots. Two. Three. Four. And then five. Amazing. So now we can pause because we have to switch back to the black thread. Take it. Put it underneath these strings and then we'll do the first half of a backward knot with it so half a backward knot take the red put it in between like that put it across finish off the black backward knot so once again i'm going to do that take the black do half a backward knot put the red through it once again finish off that backward knot one more time half a backward knot red goes through it finish off it and then we can take the black, put it off to the side, so the red can finish off this row. We'll do one backward knot, and then we'll do one backward forward. Okay, so the next two rows are pretty easy. We're just going to do a backward forward knot. And then we'll do forward knots with the red all the way across until we reach the other side, where we'll do a forward backward knot. So let's just... Going. We're halfway done with the pattern almost. Then we can continue. Goodness, you can really see how long this actually takes. Okay, and now we can do that forward, backward knot. Forward, and then backwards, forward. Great! Next, the next row is also going to be a plain red row, so we'll take that. Take our red and we'll do a forward, backward knot. And then we're going to do red, backward knots on all of these ones, and then on this one we'll do a backward, forward knot. Okay, so now we're going to continue with the second part of the eye portion of the pattern. So we'll take our red and we'll do a backward forward knot over that first base string and then we'll do a forward knot over that second one. Then once again we're going to need our black string right here. Take it underneath all the base strings and then we'll start by doing a first half of a forward knot like that. We just had half a forward knot. Take the red, put it through and then we'll finish off that forward knot with the black. Just like that. So once again, I'm gonna take the red out of the way and do my little method of, I call it like carrying or something. Then we'll finish off first half of a forward knot with that black, put the red through, and then we'll do the second half forward knot. Take the red, move it out of the way, take the black, first half forward knot, put the red through, take the black, second half of a forward knot. Then we'll take the black, because we don't need it, and we'll put it right back out to the left side. 
so it's out of the way. Then we'll take that red and we'll do a couple forward knots. Well, five forward knots. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do a forward backward knot. Also, when I'm telling you to do forward backward knots and backward forward knots on these edges, it's just called the straight edge technique. So we're also kind of learning that. If you don't know what that is, it just basically keeps the bracelet very straight and very neat and tidy. That is completely optional. I probably should have said this in the beginning of the video, but you don't have to do that. You could just do a normal forward knot on the edges if you wanted to, and it would just create this more. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you what it will create. It looks more like this one uh, with that like rounded edge. Alex Innovations, I purchased this bracelet from that shop. Amazing shop, my favorite. But it just creates that rounded edge. See, it's a little different, but this one's like straight edge, right? So you can kind of see the difference. My favorite bracelet ever. But anyways, that's just what that does if you were curious or wondering. Okay, for this next row, we're gonna need the white again, so just mentally prepare yourself. But first we'll take the red and with the straight edges technique, we'll do a forward backward knot. Then we'll do four backward knots. Okay, so now we'll take this red and we'll just make sure it's all rolled up. Put it underneath those base strings so it's out of the way. Lovely. Now we need the black, so we'll take it, put it underneath and get it right in front of the string that we're gonna tie a knot on. And then we'll do a backward knot with the black. Then we'll take it, put it off to the side for a quick second while we grab the white thread. I got my white thread. I'm gonna put it underneath these first five base strings. And then I'm gonna get it ready to tie its first knot. So with the white, we'll do half of a backward knot. We'll take this black and we'll just thread it through right in between, like we've been doing with pretty much every single row. And we'll finish off that half of the white backward knot. Once again, I'm gonna take the white, do half a backward knot, take that black and thread it through, just to keep it tidy. Finish off that white knot. One last time, let's finish off another white first half a backward knot. So half a backward knot done. Take the black, put it through, take the white, finish off that backward knot. Then I'm gonna take the white, I'm gonna put it right back out to this side so it's out of our way. Take the black, Ooh, this is a mouthful to say, I'm, I hope I'm not messing this up. Uh, then we'll do another backward knot, just like that. So we've started that pattern again. Then we'll take the black and put it right back out the left side, just like that. And once again, we need the red, which mine's a little tangled, okay. We'll take it, I'm gonna put mine underneath all of these base strings, all the way to this side, and then we'll do a backward forward knot, backward forward knot on that leftest most base string. Another row done, I've got a few more to go. So with that red, once again, I want you guys to do another backward forward knot, backward forward. Then I want you to pause, grab the black, take it and do half of a forward knot. So, forward knot, and we've done half of it. So we'll take that red again, put it through that black, and then we'll finish that forward knot with the black with the red going through it, just to keep it tidy, keep everything looking nice. Take that red and put it back out this side because we don't need it for a couple more, couple more knots. Then, I'll take that white string right here, put it underneath these base strings, and get it ready to tie its first half of a knot. So we'll do first half of a forward knot like that. Take that black, put it through, and then we'll finish off the second half of that forward knot, like that. Okay, with this black, I'm just going to put it right off to the side. And then we'll continue with three more forward knots with the white. Ah, I just dropped my string. Okay, three more forward knots. One. Two. And then three. Amazing. Okay, with the white now, I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna put it right back out to this side underneath all those base strings. So, yeah. And then I'll take the black, put it underneath all these base strings. 
and we'll tie a forward knot with it. Forward knot. Then I'm going to take the red, put it underneath all these base strings, and I'm gonna do the first half of a forward knot because guess what? I'm gonna put the black through it just to keep everything the same, same level, make it look nice and straight and flat. Take the black, put it through it, and then finish off the red forward knot. See, look how pretty that is. Once again, I'll take the black, I'll put it back out this way, just to get it out of the way. I'll do two more forward knots with the red. One, two, ah, two, and then I'll do a forward backward knot. Amazing. Okay, then once again, we'll do a forward Wait, yeah, forward, backward knot on that base string. And then we'll do two backward knots. One, two. Okay, then I'm gonna take the red and put it back out to this side. Okay, then I'll take this black, put it underneath all these base strings, put it right here, and we'll tie a backward knot with it. Backward knot. Then I'll take this white, put it underneath these first four base strings, do the first half of a backward knot, like that half, take the black and put it through it, then we'll finish off that backward knot with the white, so all done. Then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to put it right back out to this side just to get it out of the way, so we don't have, you know, too many colors poking through. And then I'm going to do four more backward knots. Amazing, so I'll take the white now, put it underneath these two, and put it off to the side. Take that black, and once again, put it underneath all those base strings, and do one backward knot when we reach this side. Good for us. Then I'll take this black, put it back out to the left side, underneath that base string. Once again, we'll grab that red, put it underneath all those base strings until we reach this side. And on that last knot, we're gonna do a backward forward. I just realized I said on that last knot, I meant on that last string. Y'all know what I meant, right? Totally. Okay, we got like two or three rows left, my guys. Let's, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, so now we'll take this red again and we'll do a backward forward knot. And then we'll do a forward knot with the red over the next base string. Good for us. We'll take that black thread, bring it back underneath those two strings we just knotted over. We'll do half of a forward knot. Take that red, put it through that black knot. Finish off that forward knot. Take the red, put it out to the side so it's out of our way. Take the white because that's what we need next. This is the last row of white and we can do it. Do the first half of a forward knot. Eek, oh dear. First half of a forward knot. Take the black, put it in between so it's perpendicular to the space string. Finish off the forward knot. Okay, take the black once again, put it back out to the left side underneath all the base strings. And then we'll do four more forward knots with the white. Okay, take the white, put it back out to this side so it's away from us. Take that black and we'll do one forward knot with it over that next base string. Boom. Oh do. Ah. Gotta make sure everything looks good. Okay. We'll take this red and put it underneath all these base strings. Do the first half of the forward knot. No. Take the black, put it perpendicular so it's like in between like that. Take that red again and finish up that forward knot. Okay, then I'm just gonna straighten everything out. Good. Take the black and put it back out to this side. With the red, we're gonna do a forward backward knot. Take the ruler because it's getting a little weird and push up straight so it looks better. That's optional. You don't have to do that, but I just like to because it looks nice. Okay, with that red, 
we'll take it and we'll do a forward backward knot we'll pause put the red right up to the side take this black put it underneath all those base strings and then we'll do the first half of a backward knot put the red through it finish off that backward knot with the black take the red put it out to this side we're almost done guys we can do it take that black and do uh, another backward knot and we're gonna take these three base strings on this side and put them off the side so we don't knot over them those three base strings on this left side and then we'll do five more backward knots with the black can you guys kind of see the pattern coming together I can and I like it I think it's adorable I can definitely tell what it is so I'm pretty happy about that Okay, take those three base strings, bring them back because we're gonna need them. Take that red underneath all the base strings. Do the first half of a backward knot. Take the black, put it through. Second half of the backward knot. Take the black, put it out to the side so it's out of the way. And then do another backward knot. And then do a backward forward knot. We did it! Now it's just time to do the next 28 rows on this side, so it's even with the other side, which I can't really move this, but yeah, let's do another row together. Okay, with this red, we'll do a backward forward knot, then we'll do a forward knot. Now we'll do forward knots all the way on these strings, and then on this last one, we'll do a forward backward knot. Okay, now we just have 27 more rows of red to do. Before I do that, I'm just going to push it up with my Wulu to make everything look good. And 27 more rows, let's go! Also, if you want to learn how to do the shaped end, I believe that video on alpha shaped and ends, uh, that's in the description box, has that part built in the tutorial, you know what I'm saying? So let's continue. Really quickly, before we continue, I just clipped off those strings from my clipboard, and I'm going to just clean up the back really quick, except there's not much to clean up, but, you know, might as well. Ah! So we no longer need these black and white threads. I'm gonna cut them off and leave a little bit of excess thread. What I like to do is take that little, those little, ah, take those little strings, right? If it will let me. Okay, it's not gonna let me. And I like to do some knots with them. Like with these two, I'll tie them together in a little knot. And then I will cut the strings off just to double secure them. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. Boom. So, just clean up the back of the alpha, and you're all good to continue. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, or liked it, or hopefully it was helpful at least. Um, make sure to tag me on your Instagram pictures of this beautiful bracelet, because I would love to see them. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.